All right. Hi, everyone. Happy Monday. Today's um, Facebook Live is all about helping your team get rid of acne. I know it's such a big issue. And for, you know, for some kids, it can be very um, just bad for their um, confidence, just their whole self-esteem. So I want to share, you know, what I think a lot of people, you go to the doctor, dermatologists, they don't focus on this one thing that I'm really going to focus on because the outside of your skin is a reflection of what's inside of your body. That's just the bottom line. No one ever tells you that because there's a lot of money to be made and all these lotions and potions and um, medication for your skin where that's being caused by something that you're doing on the inside. So we're going to get to it and you know, that's one of the first things is your skin, the outer skin is a reflection of your gut. That's what it is. So if your skin looks horrible, it's because something's going on in your gut. And the cause of your problem is it is hormonal. So I'm not going to say that it's not hormonal. And I'm going to, I'm going to post some links and also uh, a little bit about the, um, some of the diet stuff we're going to talk about, but really what's happening here, it's your hormones. Okay. However, your hormones are dictated by what you are eating. It's, it's, it's dictated by food. It's dictated by sleep. It's dictated by how you think and stress. So let's talk about that because you could, this is going to be the fastest way I guarantee like in seven days, you'll start to see your skin improve. I mean, you can't do that with lotions and potions. You will start to see it right away. Within a week, you will start to see your beautiful skin, radiant skin. But you've got to make these changes. Too many of the times it's like we're trying to get as close to the fire without getting burned. And that's what you're doing when you're doing all the other things um, like maybe just washing your face, but you're not doing all these other things that are going to help you actually um, help you with beautiful skin. So let's talk about food because remember your hormones are your body's language of communication. That's how your body communicates. And so it's important to have healthy hormone balance. And especially as a teen and as a teen is going to puberty, you know, as the gals and the guys, you know, estrogen, testosterone, there are some shifts that are happening there. However, what those are dictated by is what you're putting in your body. So when we talk about food, their food really is turning on a lot of the different mechanisms in your body. It's it's like medicine. You can use it as medicine or you can use it as poison. It's your choice. You can do one or the other. So some of the basic things, and, and you know that I've always talked about um, using food as medicine and just eat real food. You can, you don't have to look at the package, um, to understand, you know, what's in here. Example is you go to the store and you buy an apple. It's an apple. It doesn't have to be in a package or anything saying ingredients, apple, right? Orange. However, when you do look for um, to consume vegetables and fruit, make sure that they're organic. Look for the number nine in front of them. That's how you know they're going to be organic. So you want to get the best of the best because everything you put inside your mouth is going to show up here or it's going to show up on your booty or in your belly. So you want to make sure that you're doing that. Eating foods in their most natural state. Broccoli is great, especially for the young kids. As much as you might not want to eat it, you can steam it. Uh, you can make a broccoli soup as well. Broccoli is going to be one of the best things. Spinach, cucumbers. Cucumbers, a lot of water content. So you want to make sure that you're eating um, foods that are going to help um, metabolize the, the the estrogen, the excess estrogen that you're getting. And it just helps also for um, cleansing the liver. So that's going to be an important thing. So 
other ones I wanted to talk about, of course, um, you can go on my website. I have an anti-inflammatory eating plan. Stick to that. So basically, it's fruits, vegetables, clean animal proteins like chicken, fish, turkey, um, bison. Uh, if you want to get some sustainably raised pork as well, you've got to be careful with eggs. Some people have a uh, allergic reaction to eggs. So that may be something that's irritating your skin. You um, nuts and seeds. I like these um, like this is a company I, I use a lot for nuts and seeds. Um, it's called Go Raw and they're sprouted. And so they're easily di they're easily digestible. Peanut butter is a big thing with kids, so I recommend to stay away from that. You can try these um, these sprouted seeds; they will they will do wonders. Um, other thing, water. Water is so important. If you're not drinking enough water, it's going to show up in your skin. So make sure that you're hydrated, half your weight in ounces. Another thing that you can be doing is make sure that you're getting your sleep dialed in. You know, teens they need more sleep. Some need more, more like nine to 11 hours of sleep, especially the athletes, you know, if you're playing sports, you need recovery. So it's, it's really important to get your sleep dialed in. Other thing that you may not know is, keep, is keeping your environment um, cool. Also, something that most kids don't do is um, change your your covers, your bed covers, but also your pillow cover. And a silk pillow cover is probably the best thing pillowcase that you can do and rotate it you should be changing your sheets every week but your um, pillowcase you can change it you can buy like two or three silk silk ones and just so one one night you sleep on one side switch it over the other night sleep on the other side wash it and just rotate that if your skin's really bad because if you're going to bed with maybe some makeup or you're laying on your bed and you haven't washed your face of course you can get um, a lot of the bacteria on there so that's going to be important because during sleep you're also building your immune system and a lot of repair is happening the other thing you want to do is a lot of kids, they, they break out during finals. Why? It's because stress. It's primarily um, cortisol. And cortisol will interfere with the immune enhancing properties. It'll interfere with your body's regeneration. And you need that. And, and it interferes with sleep. And it also will interfere with how your body is digesting food. So it's really important to get stress management. Sometimes as a teen, you know, they just go, go, go. But actually, uh, meditation, box breathing, breathing in through one nostril, you know, doing this, breathing in. And then out, you know, you switch it this way. You can just look that up. Um, um, nose breathing, where you're breathing in through one nostril, blowing out through the other, in through one, out through the other. You can do that like eight to 10 rounds, put your timer on for two minutes. That's a good way to um, help relax. So um, that's going to help with stress as well. So let's talk about just a few hygienic things. I'm sure you can go on the internet. And like I said, doctors are pushing all these creams and lotions and so forth. So what you can do, girls, remove your wake, uh, makeup at night. Um, second thing is you want to use... Um, like a, a cleanser and I just wanted to show you um, these are just exfoliating um, sponges you can put your cleanser on there and you have to find what works for you I mean back in the day I used to use Noxzema it's like a medicated um, cleanser so that was just me there's a, a something called purpose it's available at Target Walmart CVS and that's a dermatologist um, tested and recommended so that's another product um, the other thing that you can do, um, exfoliating, um, even if you want to put like a cream at night, I mean, this is something that I, I personally use, but also I have my daughter use. You can go onto our website. There's a link there and it's made with hemp oil and, you know, it's super clean. And a lot of the times I also put like just a tiny drop of essential oils, which is like lavender, um, tea tree oil and even um, sacred frankincense. Just put a drop in there, mix it up, put it on, on your face as well. They have a lot of healing properties. The other thing is um, to, if you really have a lot of like bad acne, but once again, you've got to get to the root cause. The root cause is going to be in your gut. I've been doing this long enough that I've, I've seen this time and time after time. Um, 
Zinc is also really important. So like 25 to 35 um, milligrams of, of zinc. So here's a, something that I recommend to our patients. But for kids, you got to get your diet dialed in. So you may want to have like one cheat day and the rest of the week eat super clean. Make sure that you're drinking enough water. Make sure that your digestion is dialed in. But there is no shortcut if you want great skin. I promise you, if you follow the eating template I have in my website that is just vegetables and fruit, and there's a lot of creative ways to, you know, eat um, chicken, fish, turkey. I mean, you can still have like meatballs and burgers. You can have like a protein style burger. If you want fries, you can swap out and do maybe um, something like uh, sweet potato fries. Or if you do French fries or, or do fries, you can bake them. Just use the, the clean oils and fats that we have on our uh, listed on our eating template. So those are some things that you can do and let me know how that works, but it works. <laughs> I've been, like I said, I've been doing this time and time after time that I could tell when a person is deviating from their eating plan, even in my own kids, when I know when they eat crap because it shows up on their face. So that's the best thing that you can do. OK, until next time, I will see you um, at our next Facebook Live. All right. See ya. Bye.